The March 9th handshake jitters won't just go away, with the spotlight cast on Deputy President William Ruto over the raging clamor for amendments to the Constitution. <laughs> Ruto's critics, particularly from the NASA team captained by Raila Odinga, accusing him of being a stumbling block in the quest for changes to the country's governance system before the country heads to the 2022 general election. The deputy president firing back at the NASA brigade that barely 24 hours ago accused him of hypocrisy for opposing the proposed constitution in 2010 and blocking its amendments today. Lazy people who do not want to work hard and incompetent people who cannot formulate any meaningful development program and some people who lose elections they use the constitution as the bogeyman they try and blame it on the constitution but i don't want us to have that discussion here today we will have it another day even this constitutional debate let us look at the issues don't overrule before we hear the argument Odinga and his allies claim Ruto was holding President Uhuru Kenyatta hostage and undermining the March 9th handshake that kicked off the process of building bridges to mend national differences born out of historical divisions. What stands between Mr. Ruto and the presidency is not His Excellency Raila Amolo Odinga, it is Ruto's character, his bad record in office and the perceptions about him by the general public. The Kenyatta Odinga handshake has packed mistrust within the political circles, with Ruto's allies claiming it was crafted to undercut him. Oh, somebody will say, oh, we had an arrangement, at the after so and so, so and so will come in. I say, no, those are bedroom arrangements. We were not privy to your arrangements. We are now talking about agenda for Kenya. Not who was promised to become a president in 2022. Other than seeking to shift the country from the current presidential system of government to a parliamentary model of governance and creation of a premiership, proponents of constitutional amendments also want two positions of deputy prime minister created. Odinga has also proposed a three-tier devolution that will have 47 county governments and 14 regional governments. Even when we will discuss that subject, it cannot be a discussion about the politicians only. It has to be a discussion about the people. When we talk about our country and the things that we need to do, we need some time to sober up and look at the issue. Don't attack the messenger. Look at the message so that we can have a sober debate. With the raging referendum rhetoric, at stake are functions of the 14-member Building the Bridges Advisory Panel, jointly managed by lawyer Paul Mwangi and Ambassador Martin Kimani, crafted by Kenyatta and Odinga to seek solutions to long-standing national issues and propose appropriate remedies. Francis Gashuri for the big question.